Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Drag West 11. Today, well, we're gonna climb up here and then climb across the rooftops to get to Dirk's shop where we're gonna mug him. Maybe. We could actually just talk to him, but I'm planning on mugging him and getting my money. Even though he doesn't actually owe me any money, he owes Eric money. But what's Eric's is mine, and what's mine, well, it's just mine. Unless I give it to them. With the transfer button. That's right, there was a chest over there. Have I been up here before? I might have. Man, how do the guards not see this? <laughs> like, how did you guys not see that? How are you, like, just not reporting us to the, the police? Alright, I'm guessing you're open now. As I jump into the door like it's Mega Man. Which apparently they removed from Mega Man 11. Just, I'm not buying it now. They just ruined the game. Can't jump in the doors. Wow. Nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wings. Nice, nice accent. Stab him. <gasps> That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. Oh, should I... What? <laughs> I am surprised he, like, dodged that. I'm so ooh, happy to see you. This is very awkward. But Eric, if you lift your knee to his face, it will uh it will help. You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me. You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? Oh, is that what happened? Is that why you get caught? I never. I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. A bull? Bull? Oh, yeah. And how does that work exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. Modest. <sighs> when you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. And you were in there for months? And the thought of you being in there. All things considered, you look pretty good for being in prison for months. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm, now that you mention it. I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Ah. Exactly. I was paying him to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> I still think you should hit him. <sighs> Just to be sure. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. You know, to be fair, we have no proof of this, and we're just taking his word for it. The guards could just could just be incompetent. Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. It's with the king, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. I'm not going to walk like that. It looks like it would hurt. So, hi, um, let's see, is there anything for me to loot? There's just, oh, it's a dressing room, alright, I get it. I get you. 
Can I open this? No, that's disappointing. How about this? No, can I bash this in? These I can, though. I want to run faster. I know we're not running slow, but I want to run faster. Hey, a mini metal. Hey, a mini metal. Did I find one of these already? I might have. Is it not under important items? It should be. Where the hell is the... Is that a mist? No. Oh, yeah, there's the level stuff. Oh, it even tells you the experience. I'm blind. <laughs> so there was another comment. It's like, yeah, the, the, it just tells you where... Oh, there's the mini medals. So it tells you experience right there, and I just completely did not see it. Oh, wow, they tell you straight up when you're gonna level up to the next level. Interesting. They didn't do that in 9. I don't... They didn't do that in 10, either. You could get the ability in 9 from one of the priest class to do the divination. Ah, I guess it's better this... Well... I guess it doesn't really change anything. Knowing when you're gonna level up, other than I guess it reduces the time you need to, like... Maybe... Go back to town and check your experience points when you're grinding to reach a certain level. Maybe. Still need to save. Alright, Dirk. Where we going? So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. On the well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. Hendrick. Not Endrick, Hendrick. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm hmm. That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Well, that's good. At the same time, I was like, what are you pointing at? Is it just gonna be here? I guess we have foresight. We can just see outside the city like that. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Maybe exercise? Sorry, no can do. I got a shop to You're married to that woman I'm in there? Married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. Wait, okay, so you get locked up in jail for a few months and this guy meets a woman that agrees to marry him instantly and okay, everything's... We better get going. He sold his soul to the Take devil, care, I think. And thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Chronos slash Trunks is just like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. With guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Oh, good soldiers. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. So we gotta go back through the slums? We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Good. Okay, let's head back downtown. Should probably see the ashes of it anyways. Watch yourselves out there, eh? Ah, now we're fine. We get a boomerang. They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. Man, your earrings are huge. All right, so, Dark, do you actually sell anything? Hi, did you say you were his wife? Oh. You did, I just completely ignored you because you look like you're a minor. You sell anything, dog. You don't. Fine, Dirk. Fine. I guess there's a lot of stuff in here we don't actually need. So we need to go through the slums again, right? Because we're not going to be going through the town gate. And lo and behold, the guards that were here are no longer here. Convenient. Yeah, there are the guards. 
I mean, I'm gonna go over there anyways. I need to stay at an inn. Don't I? Yeah, I probably should. Let's just, just dip in here real fast before uh, we leave, just in case there's something interesting to listen to. I guess not. Alright, cool. Well, let's go downtown then. Alright. Cutscene. Did we? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I guess we just traveled all the way down here. No, nothing. Let's search the town again. What am I taking some of that armor? Yeah. I like the crest on the back. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? Yeah, luckily we got out of there before they showed up. We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. I'm pretty sure I looted that place entirely. Maybe right. not, but who knows? Through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Is it nighttime again? Why does it keep becoming nighttime? I just stayed at an inn and it was morning. So we're all the way back down here, so we gotta go south. We don't have my horse. Man, they just like really like nighttime in this game. We're gonna get into combat with this guy right here. And I want to see Eric use his boomerang against two of those guys. Actually, no, it hits all the enemies, doesn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Right, whips are the one that hits the group. Uh, boomerangs hit everyone. Oh man, Dragon Quest V, you can get, I think it was a, it was Draki. You can get like a Draki uh, early on and they could equip boomerangs. And the hero could equip boomerangs, so you just like boomeranging the party, like the groups of enemy to death, and it just made it for the Another easiest one, earlier boys. game. Though that game could be hard to actually most early. What? Most old school Dragon Quest games are uh, rather challenging and require a good amount of grinding. That wasn't a lot of damage, but thankfully they're weak. Well, there were ways to negate some of the grinding. Some, not all, but... Especially, like, when you get to the end boss of those games, you're just like, you either have already grinded a lot to get to the proper level, or you're gonna die. There's another item over there. Interesting. I guess those respawn? Because we definitely were down here before. Sleeping hibiscus. That was a lantern, I think. We fought everything else here. We've been everywhere else on this place. We even fought one of the, the saber-toothed tigers. The adult version of the saber-toothed tigers. Or saber tigers, or whatever they're called. Oh, an item shop. Neat. I don't think we need anything from an item shop, though. Okay. That's interesting. There's a lower road, it looks like. You get swords, you get boomerangs. You got a better boomerang than the one I bought. If I didn't buy that one from before, it probably would have just been better. Oh man, I am so... interested. I'm not selling the fishnet stockings. I might want to wear those later. I don't think we need these anymore. We should be able to sell the cobblestone. Actually, Eric, do you know how to equip shields? No, okay. Just checking. Could probably sell something in there. Yeah, fishnet, like costume stuff, I'm gonna keep. So I'm assuming this is gonna let you turn into like a bunny girl later. Maybe not Kronos or Eric, but Maybe someone, we can sell this. Oh, yeah, we can definitely sell this. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and buy that boomerang. Even though we just got a boomerang. Uh, that's not that much of an improvement, so we'll leave it at that for now. Man, I wasted 200, I, no, I wasted like 400, no, 200 on another boomerang and for no reason we're just gonna buy another one anyways that fog's a little creepy up there oh is that the mist monster we fought at the very beginning of the game 
The answer is yes. Yes, it is. You give me... Oh, and uh, a fungus dude. Ow, quit it. Oh, you actually do hit kind of hard. I don't know why my hard sounded weird there for a second. That's hard. Okay, you're dead. Those guys gave good experience, if I remember correctly. Though they might be different enemies. Yeah, I think they're different enemies. I do want to keep healed. I only have one medicinal arm? That seems wrong. Oh! The Dancing Devil. Uh, in prior games, these guys would take your MP and I think confuse you. Ooh, 10 damage. That's pretty good. I think he's dead. All right. Who else wants some? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> what is... this? Something we can't get into. All right. Is there anything on the ground? There is. Keep an eye out for chests and shiny baubles. Wake Robin. You hear that, Alfred? Wake Robin, goddammit. Okay, let's look at the map real fast. So we're gonna go to the dead ends. Could be treasure there. Um, there's like a big-ass vine over there. And the woodcutter's house is gonna be a rest point, so that's good. I see another new enemy up there. Oh, we gained another level. All right, 5 HP, agility, which is good. How much strength, though? Three skill points. We got a lot more HP. Uh, no resilience, which is kind of sad. I guess so. I don't know if we can do anything with these just yet. Oh, we can. Yes. I need to learn two more of these. Dragon Slash. Oh, we definitely want Metal Slash. Hmm. Increases the number of parry. Pip Power Piece. I mean, we want to go this way because it does work on this as well. We are going to want to get that metal slash for future metal slimes. You cannot afford anything just yet. Oh, you can get this one. Yes. Sleeper hit. This would be good too. I we'll want to get that as well. Yeah, pretty much any damage ones you can get are going to go a long way. At least they did in the earlier game. Well, at least they did in 8 and 9. I'm not sure about 10. I kind of, I really wish they just brought that over. Or like, maybe... I don't know, like, adapted it to single player? It just seems kind of odd. Like, I'm assuming... It was fine. It was like a good game. I'm not, I don't assume it was a bad game. But at the same time, like, how... It couldn't have been that great if they didn't bring it over, right? They brought over all the other ones. And, and granted, they don't sell as well over here as they do in, like, Japan. But that can be said about a lot of things. Fun guys, we already fought you dudes, and I don't want to fight the kittens. They make me feel bad. I don't see any chests. Alright. Gonna go around you and go up. Oh, we can climb this. Alright. Makes sense. Wish I didn't have to, like... Wish I could just jump up there or press the jump button and just grab a hold of it. Oh, resource? The resource is up here? And a chest. Alright. Grab this bad Larry. Hey, a mini metal. Nice. Those usually give good rewards. At least early game wise, they're good. Well, they're good 
all game wise usually I don't know about in this game but I'm hoping it's good um can I shoot it that might come into play later I don't know where are we going we're going back to the center all right, I made it back to the the center, and this guy's just walking. How's it going, dog? You showing me this? Thank you. Where are you going? Yeah? Well, whatever, that's fine. I don't want to talk to you either way. Or anyway. We want to go down here. We can avoid you. Cow? Moo! Let's see what kind of weather we can look forward to. Moo! <laughs> Looks like clear skies around here all through tomorrow. But the day after tomorrow could go all one way or the other. Oh my flipping god. What a peculiar cow. It seems our bovine friend know a thing or two about what to expect weather-wise. Uh, one way or the other. No. Just no. At least there's a chest up here. The chest is empty. God damn it. <laughs> That's extremely disappointing. On the way back, I did fight some of the enemies around here. Not many. I just, uh, ones that were kind of just in my way. Figured why not get a little bit of experience. Um, not too much, but not too little either. I don't want to get over... Oh. Hmm. Well, that guy is definitely not someone I should be fighting right about now. We might have to fight him, but unlikely, very unlikely right now. Those guys will destroy me. But yeah, what was I saying? Like, I don't want to get too over leveled, just in case it is rather or easier than the other ones. And just when we needed one, it's still a fair way to cobblestone. Are we gonna sleep again, That's and then it's just gonna turn into night? Cause that happened in, in town too. I exited the uh, rubies, I think, and it was like nighttime. Old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight, just like that. Yeah, you can do that too. But yeah, anyways, no, like at Ruby's, it went to the morning, and then I go to the upper part of Hillydor, and it's just like, it's nighttime now. I'm like, oh. Okay. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We'd travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which... I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. What's that? Yeah, I'm already using the sword. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. What Behold, is this? The fun size forge. Oh, it's the crafting. A few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. Porta Pounder. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Dope. Crap, I just sold that equipment. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I am. Where were you carrying this? You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. I'm, I'm assuming I don't have to worry about the things I just sold. We needed that boomerang. Here's a little something to get you started. Needs a little you strong. You strike while the iron's hot. Uh, forging ahead with the fun size forge. A beginner's guide. Cronus learns how to make bronze swords. Cronus learns how to make divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are okay, always Okay, bookshelves. I was right about that. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. Will do.
but like straight up can i make some bronze here's here let me give you some of the ingredients you need for those recipes i gave you maybe you can try forging yourself a weapon or something Uh, the Fun Size Forge. You can use the Fun Size Forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of the raw materials you collect on your adventure. Uh, new recipes can be found in treasure boxes and or on bookshelves, and you'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investing or investigating sparkling spots. Bobbles. We call them bobbles here. Go ahead and try making this, uh, your first masterpiece with the, the recipe Eric just gave you. Perfectionist pearls. Uh, armor? Hats. Ooh, I have one of those. Pep Pop and Calia do something cloth. Ooh, that is a lot of defense. Wow, so that's like endgame stuff. All right, so let's go to rework an item. You've, you'll receive protectionist, uh, perfectionist pearls each time you successfully forge a piece of equipment. You can use these to attempt to rework the item with the aim of doing an even better job. Don't worry about ruining your hard-earned work of arts. Even if you fail to rework something, you, might, you won't lose it. And if you succeed, you'll come away with something truly special. So I can make them better. Is that right? Okay, I was just checking. So weapons, swords. That's just way better than what I can make. How are you doing on knives? Uh, it's better, but I'm not giving you no knife. You boomerang boy. Oh, oh no. Smithing items can, couldn't be simpler. Select bash to start beating your ingredients in the shape, then finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away at each individual area with your porta pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it. The aim is to get every gauge in the green zone. See the traveler's tip for more information. Okay. Oh, do does it have to be green? No. Can I go back? Shoot. Finish. I messed it up and it's the tutorial. I thought it was supposed to turn yellow. It's a crappy bronze sword plus one. It's the f um. You know what? Yeah. Oh, we need three. Well, poppycock. So you finished your first ever forging session, huh? Nice. Did everything go as according to the plan? Yes. Nice work. You must be a natural. Don't rest on your laurels just yet, though. This is a deep, deep art we're talking about here. Oh, by the way, you can bust up the Fun Side Forge anytime we set up camp, so if you want to make some new kit, keep your eyes peeled for a campfire. All right, I, I think it's time to call it a day. We've been through a lot. Better grab some rest while we can. Interesting. There's a dog here. Up and Adam champ. The sun's high in the sky already. Time for us to head to Cobblestone. No. Uh, equipment here, there. Bronze Swords plus one. Can you view the details on that? Hmm. Okay. I mean... Yeah, no, it looks alright, I guess. And there's a statue here so we can save, because that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.